What's going on YouTube? It's your homie guy about to bring y'all a new video today on the It's On You channel. Today this video is going to be about the update for the state of Alabama with the Constitution to care. But you know I got to do my EDC dump before I get into the video. So we're going to start off with my watch. And it is the Winfield MD Timer. And I also have a Black Scout Survival button compass on here. Throw this back on right quick before we get too far. And... I am very excited about the Constitution to carry. I know a lot of people are it's just as excited as me. It's pretty dope. I wish we would have been doing it, but we didn't. We're just not doing it. All right, we're going to go to my keys. We're going to start off with that, and it is the Recycle 5 out of key lane. Also, the Olight keychain light on here. We're going to go to my front left pocket, which was my wallet in there. And this is also made by Recycle Firefighter. This is the minim minimalist wallet with the little money keep on the back. And it is made out of Recycle Firefighter. I mean, re Recycle Fire Hose. We also have my spare mag and it is held by a Neo mag. All right, I'm gonna go to my back left pocket, which is my EDC light of choice. And it is the Cloud Defensive MCH. This is the EDC single do a uh, single output all right we're gonna go to would have been my phone but i'm recording from this is the case and it is iphone 11 pro all right we're gonna go to my pocket and we have my apple apple pros and a hype case we have my multi tool today and it is kind of light and small this is the swiss army cadet in black as you can see also, we got the good old Burt's Bees West Chapstick and Mango. And the EDC blade of choice is the Henchman made by Compliance Edge. And this is the Jolly Roger edition with the black G10 grips and this stone wash finish. All right, and the gun of choice is the CZPO1 Omega with the True Glow, True Glow uh, night sights on this joint. We got the Surefire X300. We also have the gray thin matrix lock grips. And this is riding in a Alex and Ryan design appendix carry with the claw in gray. And my EDC belt of choice is uh, the gray blue alpha gear hybrid EDC. All right, man, this is a good day and a good time for the state of Alabama. Also, it, well, actually, it has it was went in effect on January 1st that the state of Alabama would move to Constitution to carry. I think it's dope. I think we should have been doing that. All the states should do it in the country. And I think we're like right at 25 states in the country that's uh, Constitution to carry. So that's pretty dope, uh, which means that we no longer have to purchase. If we choose not to, we no longer have to purchase a pistol permit to carry conceal. So we can carry conceal without having a pistol permit as long as you are not a felon, you know what I'm saying? You don't have any outstanding warrants and all that good stuff. Uh, you can carry whatever pistol you want, conceal, open carry or whatever. We, are, we was already an open carry state, but now we are constitutionally carry where we don't have to buy a, a pistol permit. Now, I'm gonna talk about the pistol permit. I'm gonna still continue to buy a pistol permit because I do like to travel and some states haven't moved to the constitution to carry but they also still honor the state of alabama uh uh license to carry pills permit so therefore i'm still going to purchase that until every state in this country which probably won't happen but if most of them most states eventually in the future i know all of them won't but if majority of them you know around 40 something states end up going to constitution to carry i probably will stop purchasing uh, uh permit to carry because it wouldn't make any sense to uh you know continue to purchase it but right now we only 25 you know half you know halfway or whatever so i'm going to continue to continue to purchase it all right another thing that i want to talk about that everyone is always saying because a state will have um laxer gun laws or a state that has moved to constitution to carry they want to think oh the crime is going to go up uh the murder rate is going to go up this this and that no, and there's a good chance it's gonna go down because it's less hoops that law-abiding citizens have to go through to carry and to protect themselves and innocent people. So now I feel like it's a better chance that the crime rate and robberies and thefts and all that stuff going down because you got more law-abiding law citizens carrying. 
uh, just because a state has strict gun laws doesn't mean it's going to detour criminals or evil people from doing what they want to do. It don't matter. They don't have to do it with guns. They can do it with a vehicle, a hammer, a knife, a brick. Uh, it doesn't matter. They'll find ways to do evil things or to to uh, commit a crime with robbery or whatever. They don't have to have a gun always to do that. You know what I'm saying? You can do it with a note. And just write some stuff on there and say you're going to do something and people will fall for it, especially people who don't like to carry, who are scared to carry. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, people out Alabama or any state that has went to Constitution to carry, take advantage of it, buy, purchase your firearm, get you some ammo, get you some good training, and after you take a class, couple of classes, you learn what you learn, uh, take what you learn from those uh, instructors and just go to the range and train and train and build upon it. Don't take a lot of rounds to get quality trained and rep, especially when you do a, a good amount of dry fire at home. So you, if you dry firing on a regular, you go into the range every other week or whatever, even if you go once a month, you know, nothing less than once a month, but uh, you get out there, get to the range, and do a low round count uh, range day, you know what I'm saying, 50 rounds, and you can get it done, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, y'all take advantage of it, be safe, get out there and train. Peace, Unk Life, it's on you. Oh, before that, so with. I still have a few It's On You shirts. Uh, the sizes have went down uh, or whatnot. So we have small, medium, large, and I have one 2X, you know what I'm saying? So all the three X's are gone and all the uh, extra larges are gone. So shout out to California. There's three shirts going out. They showed me some love, two different uh, uh, followers and supporters to support the channel. These are going out today, well, tomorrow to California. And I really appreciate that, man. And uh, if you want to continue, to, you want to support the channel, I have a few more shirts. Like I said, you can send me an email or DM me on Instagram. I have small, medium, large, and 2X. Peace. Unk Life. It's on you for the last time.